Do you want to know the mistakes that most women make that has deprived them of their relationships? Do you want to know this mistake so you can make corrections and you can be aware of this mistake so you don't repeat what other women have done to damage their relationship with men? If you want to have a perfect, a good and awesome relationship with men, you know, you need to know these things. If that is why you are here, then don't go anywhere because this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome on the show today. My name is Topsy Gift. I am the author of the book titled I Am a Woman, I Am a Human. If you don't have the book, please go on Amazon or check Okada Books for those of you in Nigeria and get a copy. Now, today in our video, we are going to be talking about five mistakes that women make. Yeah, five mistakes that women make that has ruined their marriages, that has ruined their relationships rather. So one of the mi uh, mistakes that women make, number one, is taking advice from women who are bitter about men. I want to repeat that again. One of the mistakes that women make is taking ad advice from women who are bitter about men. Have you heard the word feminism? Feminism. A lot of women claim to understand the word feminism. And even those who are, who are pro-men, who hate men with passion, are under the umbrella of the word feminism and we all are claiming to be you know feminists right but some women don't know that there are women who are who are bitter about men nothing a man does that you know brings joy to them nothing there's nothing a man can do that will shake them that will make them feel like you know, anybody, somebody's doing anything, right? So these women, because they are already pained about men, they give wrong advice to their co-women who are not pro-men. And these women run with this advice and go destroy their relationship with men. How do you think that a person who is pro-men will give you a perfect advice. He doesn't like a man, sis. He doesn't like a man. So how do you think that he, she's going to give you a good advice? <laughs> of course she's not. She's not going to give you a good advice. She's just going to ruin your relationship, okay? So be careful of what who gives you advice. Be careful of what you read. Be careful of what you, what you listen to, what you watch. Be careful of who you are following, who you call mentors. Some of them are there claiming they are feminists, but they are pro-men. They are, they are bitter about men, probably because of their past experience with men. And that's why they are bitter about men. And here they are dishing out advice, you know, for young women who want to go into a relationship with men. And these women are running with this wrong ideology, wrong advice, and they are busy ruining their relationships. So are you a woman today who have been having problems in, in your relationship? Have you sit down to ask yourself some delicate questions? What have I been listening to? What is it I'm doing wrong? What is it? Have you gone back to check yourself? You know, it could be because of the things you're listening to that you are portraying that is causing you your beautiful relationship with men. All right. So please check what you listen to. Check who you listen to. Check what you read. Check who you call mentors. OK, check their background. Ask questions like 
verify these people, you know, so they don't just ruin your life or your relationship with the love of your life because, you know, they don't like men. I like men, bro, sis. I am not you who doesn't like men and I can be like you. So don't give me an advice that will ruin my relationship, okay? So that's number one. Number two, we, uh, women accommodate uh, emotional abuse. When you are in a relationship with a guy who claims to love you and he's emotionally abusing you and you are, you are not, you know, you, you are careless about it. You don't care. It's not really a, a big deal. And he's doing this over and over and over and over again. You are not seeing it as a red flag. You know, you keep enduring it. You keep, you know, accommodating these things eventually he gets married to you what do you think will happen afterwards sis is never gonna stop he's not going to stop being that abusive man he used to be when he was dating you so you keep accommodating emotional abuse from a man because you want to be a missus a Mrs. D's, a Mrs. That. So you just want to, you just want that ring on your finger. You just want that great day. You just want to be married to someone. So you accommodate all, all his, emotion. his emotional abuse, and that you think that it's it's gonna it's uh, it's gonna give you the love that, and he's going to see that, oh, you're go you're taking all his bullshit, all his abuse, so he's going to see you as a good wife, as a wife material, sis, come on, don't, come on, come on, that's rubbish, that's, that's trash, okay, I mean, he's going to, if he's, if he's sensible, he's going to know that you are just a desperate chick, like you're desperate and you're ready to do anything to be with him. Okay? So, please, don't allow a man do that to you. And don't take emotional abuse, you know, in the name of love. That's a very bad mistake, all right? So, the next one is always reconciling, always reconciling whenever you guys have disagreements even though he's the one who is wrong allow people who are wrong to say i'm sorry when a woman is wrong she should say she's sorry as well as a man if he's wrong he should be the one to apologize and reconcile with you and not the other way around you don't go about reconciling with him over and over and over and over again come on it's gonna seem as though you are in this relationship all by yourself it's gonna look like you are desperate it's gonna look like you can't do without him it's gonna look like you can't live without him and the moment he starts having the feeling that his life is you know in you one and there's nothing you can do without him he's gonna start taking advantage of that he's gonna start taking advantage of you of your ignorance it is wrong, sis. You have to stop it. When he is wrong, when he offends you, he should be bold enough, man enough, man enough to say, I'm sorry. Don't take, don't keep reconciling and, and keep pleading and keep begging and keep going back to make peace. Come on, you are, even Jesus won't do that. Okay? You are not holier than Jesus. You are not more Catholic than the Pope. Whoever is wrong should apologize. Stop going back and front, trying to, you know, force him to be in your life. It's wrong. He's never going to stop taking advantage of your ignorance. And, and he will never stop treating you like less of a, a human that you have made yourself to look like. Okay? So... Another mistake is thinking that you can hook a man with, the, with sex. A lot of women make this mistake. They think that, oh, if I give him back to back, if I give him the doggy style, if I give him this style, that style, I give him from the front, from the back, from, you know, 
I give him in the room, in the kitchen, everywhere, every corner, in a car, every fucking place. He is going to make me his bride. Like for real? Like seriously? <laughs> he's just he's just enjoying the moment. He's just having fun. It might all be a fling to him. Sex cannot keep a man. It can never keep any man. A man who comes o- to you over and over because of the kind of sex you give to him is just going to be about the sex. That is why you see a lot of men will marry a good woman, keep her at home, give her every damn thing she wants. But you know what? If he's not getting good sex from her, he will go out, get good sex from another person. But he will never divorce that good woman at home to come and be with you that is giving him the good sex. You see, so all you are to him is just a prostitute. Nothing more. So never think that you can hook a man with sex. No, sis. It doesn't work that way. He's going to enjoy the moment and still go to the woman of his dream. To the woman that he wants to truly be with. To the woman that he wants to give that ring to. Okay? So please, don't, don't allow yourself to be used. Anybody giving you that advice is not helping you in any way at all. Okay? So the next one is forsaking your dreams for a man. Now, you think you love him, right? And and you think he loves you. And he let go of your dreams, your vision, your passion, your purpose, your calling. You should let go of it and be with him. Come on, love is not stupid. Whoever loves makes sacrifice. And some of that sacrifice is you becoming who you have been called to be. Is the man also putting himself, being a vessel to help you achieve that dream, that passion, that goal, that calling that you have been given, that gift and talent that you have been given by God not helping you to forsake it, not helping you to to let go of it, to discard it. No. Any man who loves you would be happy to see you excel in life. So don't allow men, don't allow people give you wrong advice to tell you to forsake your dreams and your visions and your goals. At the end of the day, in the long run, into that relationship, you are going to be pained. You're going to wish you can take back the hands of time and do the right thing. And you're going to wish you never had given up on your dreams. Because trust me, you're going to be pained. Because eventually, the same man who made you forsake your dreams will go and start chasing women who worked on their dreams and, you know, became famous or became influential or became rich he's gonna go chasing those women well you who abandoned your dreams for him he's gonna start treating you like uh, you know like you don't matter to him so don't allow anybody make you forsake your dream if he loves you he's going to push you he's going to enable you he's going to encourage you he's going to keep working on you until you achieve your dreams all right so thank you for today thank you for watching this video hope you like it please go ahead subscribe on my youtube channel hit on the notification bell so that anytime we post a video you would be notified okay so i love you i hope to see you next time and don't forget to share don't forget to like all right